Welcome, everybody, to our BNI Talks webinar. My name is Steve Tenuzzo, your host. And today I've got Larry Mazzoni. Larry and I go way back, uh, and he is a master inviter. I love what Larry does when he invites. Uh, he just has a very high success rate and has for many, many years. So I thought perfect topic for us to talk about is inviting visitors who actually show up, because that's I know was one of the big frustrations with uh, people who try to invite, and it just doesn't work out for whatever reason. So Larry's got great tips to share. Welcome, Larry. Thank you, Steve. Good to see you. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Off, the, off this little tiny screen here. Well, anyway, I've, I've been around BNI for 20 years. Uh, uh, and in fact, I'll tell you that story later on, uh, how that began. But um, about 60% of my business comes out of BNI. And I'm in the merchant credit card processing business. Uh, and that's a business that's usually done by telemarketing, cold calling. I don't cold call and I hate telemarketers. I hope if you're a telemarketer on this call today, forget I said that. <laughs> anyway, um, I just say I just don't like you know to have them calling me all the time, and they and they do. Uh, so well, who does? I, I said, I've been around this thing for quite a while, and I, I do do pretty well with it. Uh, I've been helping merchants for 18 years. I've yet to find one I cannot save money uh, simply because I'm doing it a little bit differently, more more as a broker than I am just working for somebody. Um, you, you, you will see a screen behind me maybe that uh, um, that says uh, strategic payment systems out of Massachusetts. Uh, they were bought out by Payrock and we just had the change over in the last day and a half. So uh, oh, nice. I have a new email that's already on my profile on BNI, but it's not all ready for prime time yet. So there okay. you go. All right. I will tell you uh, the rest of the stuff that I wrote down that you can't see on your little screen, uh, that you're an 18 year BNI member uh, between Massachusetts and now in Tennessee. Uh, you are a support director, a launch director. I have you down as expert inviter and talent recruiter. You know, Larry, between you and me, we brought in at least half of our BNI Massachusetts team. At, at one time, I was I was one under half all by myself. I didn't even have your help on that one. That's true. <laughs> uh, we didn't need it. Uh, like, he he forgot the, area director. Right. So. That's true. And final, final bullet there is most fun at BNI conferences. Well, thank you. Yeah, we had good times back then. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Long Beach was good. All right, so uh, Larry, why don't you jump right into it? Okay, so we're talking about visitors, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and, and as and as, you, as you put it, about getting you know um, getting to actually show up. Um, why, who, and how? We we'll spent some time on why. I know that's usually what we hear in the chapter meetings is all about why, uh, a little bit of who, and not much how. So we're going to really dig into how. Um, after we get after we get through it, um, all right. I uh, have the, the the core values up up there on the screen. There are two I'm going to focus on: givers gain and accountability. And it's really givers gain for others, obviously, but accountability to yourself and your goals. What do you want to get out of this thing, right? How, how do you want your business to grow through BNI, right? And 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 being accountable to those goals that you set for yourself. Um, is, is important and visitors will do that. Um, I think that we, we, Steve and I were talking the other day and I, I made, a, made a comment about every issue in a, in a chapter can be solved with more visitors, right? And if you want to throw questions up for that for later, that'd be fantastic. That is so true. Mm -hmm. um, Zig Ziglar said this, you know, you, you can have everything in life you want if you will just help others, other people get what they want. Larry, right, why can't I find that? Where'd that go? Oh, there it is. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, you're yeah, looking I, up your notes and not uh, not what's on the screen. Yeah, <laughs> so, well, oh, you know, oh, it's, it's, it's one of those things. Okay, I'm, about, I'm about to click. Anyway, um, the why. <clears throat> the why. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's a big one. Yeah. So, and you've probably heard this before. And there may be some debate on a couple of days, just kind of let it go, but... Um, Every 10 new members in a chapter, referrals will double, right? That's that's a ma that's a massive amount of referrals you think about it. What, what if you, some of you just had one or two more referrals a year? You know, how, how would that change your business? Um, I like it. You know, Steve, what was that stat that you told me the other day about um, doubling your chapter size? Yeah, when a chapter, uh, when a chapter doubles in size, the referrals triple. Yeah, so, so, Growing the chapter does matter. It matters for everybody, especially the people 
whose fears are the smallest, right? They don't have as much to work with, but we'll get we'll get back to that in a sec. Um, the very best chapters lose members regularly. I mean, you get, you know, people have babies, people have promotions, people change jobs. It's all, I mean, it's all kinds of things that go on that are positive in their lives, right? And and they, and they wind up leaving. Um, and there's numbers on that as far as attrition goes, but uh, regardless of that, growing is more fun than, than shrinking. I mm. think that's pretty simple. I agree. Um, when I talk about visitors and guests, visitors and guests both buy from members. Visitors that never come back again, that are already eligible to join. And guests who never had a business or, you know, they're just people, you know, that, that are, that are, that you pick up along the way um, to invite that, that aren't really eligible to join um, or to, I'm sorry, to apply. Um, I'm saying the average is about 2K a piece. The average used to be 1500 and what, you know, um, that was pre pandemic and we've had enough inflation dollars. That's definitely over 2000 bucks. They'll be spending in your chapter. You know, Larry, when I was visitor host in my chapter, I would call, uh, everyone who visited, including the substitutes, anyone who was not eligible to be a member, I called them anyway. And I asked them if they had interest in joining. And most of them said, no, I was just here to substitute or whatever. And I would say, okay, but is it all right if I give you a brochure with our contact info in case you need some, some business, some services. And sure enough, we were tracking that and people were calling us months later saying, hey, you know, I need that plumber or whatever. So it's really a, a good yeah. tip to make sure that, you know, there's business out there, whether they're a member or not, whether they're interested in BNI or not. The other the other part of that is this. So I'm, I'm a visitor host typically every other year. I get mm -hmm. roped into education last year, and now I'm back to being a visitor host. Yep. I'll make those calls. And when they're in my sphere, I will I will really set up a coffee to learn more about their business. And, and you know, maybe we can help each other. That's how I yep. kind of put it to them. Yeah. Um, so that follow-up is huge. And I've got some more about that later as far as, as far as building, building the chapter and really make, making it work. Uh, cause people want to be, want to be courted. They want to be asked, you know, anyway, building yeah. spheres was the next one. Um, 56 percent of your, your referrals will come, uh, will come from your sphere. So you want your sphere to be bigger, you know, bigger or smaller, you know, I mean, bigger in those numbers. Um, the best way you can help people that have, that you're sure you can't help. I've had this. I had this in, in a chapter um, where my wife was, was working, it, you know, working with a business that was selling makeup. Great. She's doing that. We had a Mary Kay girl in our chapter. How could I help? I can't pass her referrals. But what I can do is invite visitors in her sphere that are going to refer a business to her. Right. And that that was how I helped her the best. Um, so it's always about helping people in, in your chapter. Larry, when I was a brand new member uh, and I was in the printing business, so not the hardest referral in the world, by the way, uh, especially since the back in the day, it was nothing but business cards all day long, right? Uh, and I met with someone who said, I don't really think I can ever refer to you. And I like took it personal. I'm like, why? And she's like, well, I just, you know, I don't really have a need for for printers, you know, like right now I've got, you know, some, some stationary that's been lasting me for five years. I'm like, well, what about the people, you know, that you can refer me to? But I think there's, there are some times where people think I can't refer to this contractor because I, you know, I'm in an apartment with, and they're not thinking big enough or like wide enough in their, their network. Right. But, but visit, bringing the visitors that some become members and some don't, but just some become a contact can be a, it can be a huge thing be huge things to help those people. I mean, giver's gain is, is our main deal, right? Yep. Um, the, the next one up is the, um, um, the spheres, you know, you've all seen this before. I think Steve's going to put this in the, in the chat or something that's downloadable. Um, but building, build your sphere. Uh, don't let the categories throw you. You want them all, mm -hmm. uh, 10, 10 to 15 people in the sphere together makes, makes the referrals just pop. Uh, many of you have seen that the real estate sphere being, being the biggest in most chapters or many chapters uh, and the referrals just are going and that's what drives the bucks and the chapter and so on. Um, you can change that and make it your sphere that drives drives the chapter. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. So we got, we kind of, kind of get went through why. Well, who do we invite? Who do we invite? Steve. Steve. Um, okay. There, hey. Oh, there we oh, go. There we go. Q. Sorry, sorry about this. Um, so you were going to do a poll. A right? poll, shall we? Please do. 
Let's take a poll. All right, so the question is, how's the inviting going? <laughs> and your choices are, I'm inviting, but having trouble getting them to show up. I have already invited everybody I know, and I am an inviting rock star with the awards to show for it. See what I like we got. That. Do I get to vote too? No. No, it's not. No, it's not. Let me vote. I'll give you credit for being an inviting rock star with the awards. Okay, yeah. Since yeah, you I just, just told me you got one. Yeah. All right, let me get that off screen. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm interested to see to see how that is. Um, I've had a lot of you know a lot of people tell me tell me that they're 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 right they're right of people to talk to they 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 talk to everybody everybody says mm -hmm. no typically in many chapters people invite two or three people if they say no they they stop inviting yeah and that's that's something we can uh, work past by taking some pressure off here today where right. are we where are we with We're the gonna close this poll in about five seconds four three two one okay here's the results wow so the majority of people said i'm inviting but having trouble getting them to show up so okay we, and this we've you got know, slides for that <laughs> it does happen right um and we've got 11 percent saying i already invited everybody i know and of course uh same amount of people uh are inviting rock stars so that's cool and by the way inviting rock stars you can also throw your tips into the chat always welcome and and, and we're inviting rock stars sometimes what happens is you, you do it however way you do it and it works for you and it, it makes it but sometimes and i know the way i do things sometimes there are certain members who just don't can't do it that way yeah. well it teaches how to take the pressure off them to teach them how they can actually you know be effective and in inviting visitors and we're going to get we'll get to that as we go on by the way larry i made uh since we're doing this little skit i made us younger and with hair i like that yeah i like the hair that that's really pretty wonderful. good pretty good look at that mane i got there look yeah, fantastic. so what do you get to say to me i say hi larry yo now what you're supposed to tell me you've called everyone you know oh i thought you i thought there was we really should have practiced this act yes we should have all right Larry, I've called everybody I know. I'm out of people. You, you called everybody you knew. Everybody I know. No, no. New. No. You've called everyone you knew yesterday. Yeah, true. The point is of the silliness, so we're trying to be silly, and it's not, not really working out too well, <laughs> um, <laughs> it, 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 is that we meet new people every day. There are new people along the way, and there are people that we've talked to before that we've never really work through to try to have them introduce us to other people or at least, or at least give us give us people to call so we're gonna we're gonna kind of we're gonna hit that we're mo moving in here um i agree by the way i had someone who said to me this very same thing oh i've invited everybody i know so i just stopped inviting and i'm like well when was the last time you invited and she said six months ago so i'm like you haven't met anyone new in the past six months so, well, so let's yeah. give her credit, give her a little grace for a sec yeah. and say, let's say she hasn't met any business owners or salespeople in the last six months. They're only housewives and and, and, and retired old guys, right? Okay. Um, those people are fantastic. First, they buy, but second, they know people that you don't know. I mean, you, you're all networkers. And if you're on this webinar, you got most of you guys, if not all of you, are, are ahead of this curve. But then yeah. this is what the, the, you know, the average member is really thinking. Let's let's yeah. go to the next one, there, Steve. All right. One of the biggest. Whoops. Where are you? Say, okay. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> no, absolutely not. What this is one of the biggest things? And people fall into this trap sometimes. You know, five, ten, fifteen year members, and I think almost I fell into it at one point for a, for a short period of time before I think it might have been Steve that smacked me upside the head and took me out of it. Um, they were looking for people that would be great members. My point to you today is this. You're not going to know for a year until after they join mm -hmm. if they're even going to be a competent or a good member. Yeah. Right. That, you know, it, it's a matter of we're going to, to invite everyone, let membership committees sort it out. They will either sort it out if that person chooses to apply, they'll sort it out now. Or when they go to renew, they'll sort it out later. Or that person will just won't apply and, and they will move, move on. But invite them all. Invite them all. Yeah, I agree. I often uh, used to do that. I'd be like, is this person going to be good? 
you know, are they going to get up in the morning? You know what? I shouldn't be answering for them. All I should say is, hey, we've got this great thing that you may want to check out. Check it out. We, and leave it at that. We, remember that. Are they going to get up in the morning? When we get to that, one of the last, uh, I think it was probably next to the last slide or something. Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll we'll talk about that. Will they get up in the morning? Yeah. Um, and getting them there. So there you go. All right. Anyway, um, we're over here. Yeah, we're looking for people to be visitors and guests. Um, you know, and obviously visitors are, are eligible to apply for membership, but but guests is everyone else, mm -hmm. right? They're not eligible to apply for membership for whatever reason. Invite them all. Like I said, a lot of membership committees sort them out. You find them everywhere. Now look, I'm not much for the next for the next slide on social media, right? That's one of the first things we have here. I'm not much for this. I, I don't do very well with social media. Facebook and I don't like each other for some reason. Um, and, and none of that, not the political stuff that some of you are thinking already. I'm, I'm hearing some of your thoughts. Um, I'm just said nothing. I, said nothing. I'm, we don't talk about politics and being. I'm, I'm old. It's the it's the no. I don't put any. I don't put anything up. I don't put anything up. It, it's it's the the Facebook to me. So there yeah. you go. Um, but but networking through. I've seen so many times where, where, where people put things up on different on different groups and so on, different chats, and they're looking for this or they're looking for that, looking for the other thing. Well, mm -hmm. why can't you do the same thing? Hey, I'm looking for a great plumber or a great electrician or a great IT guy. You know, who can you recommend? You get three or four or five names. List three or four or five names to add to your list. Yeah. You're yeah. networking through your social media people to go to go onto that, you know, to, to, you know, to build your list. Because some of you know, without your list, you're done. Your list is everything. And by the way, it makes a warmer cold call, right? So you say, does anyone know a great landscaper? And your friend, Mike, says, yes, I know Joe's Landscape Services. So you call Joe. And you say, hey, Joe, you don't know me, but your friend Mike told me that you are the best at what you do, and we would love to have you visit our group. Yeah, and it, it becomes very simple, but you're also giving them a little bit of a compliment. You've, you've got that, that little bit of credibility from some, someone they know. And even if they yeah. don't know, well, you, hey, hey, buddy, you've got people saying your praises, and then he told me about you. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and, and go, kind of go from there. Um, the next one would be association websites. Um, yeah. Well, that's just a list, right, Larry? No, 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 no. Don't use the list. Bring it up on your computer and call the association and say, hey, guys, if you had to refer or cut, you know, two or three of your contractors or two or three of, of your realtors or whatever they are, who who would they be? Just on, just on the side. I won't tell anybody you told me that type of thing. Get the names that way. That way you, that way you know you get the best of the best, right? Mm -hmm. and, the, and, the, and the people know it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the next one, the next one's kind of cool. Local businesses. This is, is this is my favorite thing. This blew my mind when when Anthony told me this. First right, time. And, yeah. Anthony McWhinney, who is the director up in Massachusetts, he he did this. It's, 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 a, it's a couple of these slides of his too. Uh, I think you made for them, made for them, but whatever. Yeah. Um, anyway, he put this up on a screen the first time, and I looked at my like, what? And he talked about like in this case, it's a paint store in the background. Going into the paint store, physically going in. You can call them, but I like talking face to face to people. Mm -hmm. um, some some young kid is, is doing marketing. Kid said, "Yeah, because you're old." Anyway, uh, but I throw that in. But going in and asking them, yeah, straight out, yo, know, hey, you know, you, you do business with painters all the time. Can you give me two or three names of painters? But build a business group, and I'm looking for some really, you know, somebody really good to, to, to invite to the group. Um, they'll give you names. They love referring out their customers. Right. Yeah, that, I think that was a really cool thing to do to uh, to get a name of someone who's busy. Uh, but, you know, obviously we're all still looking for work. So you got someone who's probably good at what they do. And it's a really great lead for you to to get them, you know, get their attention and, and ask them about becoming you, part of this. When you when you're making these calls from different people referring you because you've networked through them, that's, that's all about networking. Yeah. You know, when you're making these calls, you, you they feel they feel complimented by the people that gave you the their name and now they're at ease and they're ready to talk to you about anything because you know um because it's like wow people are talking good about me i like that right it's different than just getting complaints from customers you know uh, which can happen yeah. true okay very uh, cool tip well the next one this one this one i've had a lot of fun with the next one um i've lived down in chattanooga for the last two years moved in down here i didn't know a soul in fact the, i found my real estate agent down here through bni connect that was mm -hmm. the only person i had met before i moved here and out walking the dog was the best way to network for me because I didn't know anybody. Talk about not having a list. Mm -hmm. I showed up and didn't have a list. Right. 
but the neighbors all have a list. And I'd ask them, who do you know this or that, the other thing. Now neighbors that are moving into the neighborhood are asking me, which is which is pretty cool. Uh, keeping nice. the referral count high. But mm -hmm. I just refer to mover uh, to one guy and a house builder to another another guy. There's two neighbors that are pretty close to me, right? And it's it's just it's just something where they all know people and they will all they're all willing to give you give you names of people they know, like, and trust. Um, that's always that's always the biggest thing. Yeah, um, it was. Uh, I'm going to toot your your horn here, Larry, uh, and say that uh, despite your newness to the area, you were recognized by a chapter for passing the most referrals last year. Actually, um, no, no, visitors, visitors, visitors. I'm sorry, um, visitors, but it sorry. wasn't. But I'll, I'm going to. I just sorry about the I but misunderstanding. It wasn't the chapter. It was the region. Oh, even better. I, I did all right. Um, yeah. I did all right, and I and I just came out of knee surgery, and I, I probably only had nine months. Nine months out of the out of the last fiscal year to really do anything um, after having the knee replaced. So it, it's well, you just have to step it up then it, next year. It, it's not about me though. It's about the system and it's about networking, right? Yeah. And if we take ourselves out of it, just and just kind of go, you know, go through it and relax about the whole thing, it, it becomes much e very very easy to do. Yeah. Um, all right, move on there to the, to the next one there. Gary in the chat is asking, who walks their dog in a suit and tie? Good point, Gary. It, well, yeah, that's, that's yeah, that, especially Chad Nugas. <laughs> a little bit warm down here for that most of the time. That's true. Yeah, well, yeah. Anyway, okay. thanks for the distraction. Let's move on. I'm easily distracted. Hey, networking events, these are the people that are easiest to invite, right? Mm. <laughs> you would not, think. Not always. Um, right. You know, so, so, so you got to remember, first of all, they can't join. So when they start asking you questions about joining, it, it's they can only apply. All their questions are answered at the meeting. Mm -hmm. You're only inviting them to come visit. Right. right. Come, come visit, meet meet some friends, and so on. And I'll, I'll give you a, a And nice I think, point. Larry, that's, that's a big point, is to not invite people to a meeting, but to meet people in your meeting. Yes. Right. Yes. I got a couple stories coming up on that. I'm going to try to... Trying to hold them until after the next. All right. Um, um, the where'd it go? I'm where on before I hang up. Okay, right before yeah. before I hang up, you, you know, it, it, it's a riot. This one, this one I love, simply because of this. Patty Salbucci, who was the executive director of BNI Mass, who started BNI Mass with zero people in BNI, no BNI at all in Massachusetts. She started. This is one of the techniques that she used. When you're on the phone with people, it, it's it's you know before you know, baby before I hang up, let me ask you this quick and ask a quick question, and then get off the phone. Because yeah. the longer you stay on the phone, like if you did it at the beginning of the conversation, you're going to get more and more questions that are that are a pain. That's why I say there are no objections, yeah. right? Because and it's not that you won't answer all their questions; you want to answer them all. But if they don't see the meeting, you know you can't you can explain it all day long, and then no one's ever going to understand it. I know, yeah. I know, I certainly did, and, and I you know so on. So it's a, it's about kind of really really quickly doing it, you know. But when you and even at the point of, of you know calling people up on the phone to, to invite them, you know, clear their time. Hey, is it you know is it a good time to talk right now? I I only have a minute myself, you know. Um, you know, or should I call you? I mean, is it a good time to talk or should I call you back? That type of thing. Yeah. Um, I only have a minute myself. I wanted to ask this real quick before I run out the door. You know, so you set the expectation you're only going to be on for a minute. Hi, the thing is, you should only be on for a minute. Otherwise, this becomes work. Mm -hmm. If you everybody you call, you're on 10, 15, 20 minutes. That's that's a lot of time out of your day. Nobody's got time for that. Yeah. I wish right. I had a poll for that. How much time do you have to, to spend yeah. inviting? You yeah. know, you make three calls a day that are a minute, minute and a half each, right? Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy. Oh, by the way, you'll have a visitor every week, but that's just the numbers speaking. We don't want to go there, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> not not at this point. Um, but but you'll 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 you'll, you'll see how that works, right? And that's that is huge. The before I before I hang up or you know, as you leave an appointment, hey, be, hey, before I go, and I I gotta run, but let me ask you this before I forget. And you, you just you hit that, and you, you'll be surprised how well that'll work. Um, and they and, and I know some of you are already thinking, but now to get them to show up because they said yes then when you ran out the door, and then and then you know their mind starts going. We're we're gonna cover that. Yeah. Go to the next. What we got? How? Oh yeah, there's the handle objections around. Then. There we go. All right, next one. The how this is the how. This is what, what I think most of you are here for um to go through this. 
First of all, they are not always listening. A friend of mine in a chapter went to invite this general contractor named Bruce Velez. Skillville. If you're in the Northeast, fantastic general contractor. Anyway, he was doing work, work in this guy Johnny's house. Johnny asked him about BNI twice while he was doing work in his house. I guarantee you Bruce wasn't listening. He just said no, like most people do. Bruce wanted to finish the work. A month and a half or so later, Johnny says to me, in a referral for me, that his, his girlfriend was starting an e-commerce business and wanted to be able to sell sell online. Great. So I went and met with her. And I was going to meet with her at Panera Bread. And I said, and I said to her, uh, and I was hoping for the outcome that I had, but but I didn't know if it was going to happen. Um, I said, look, if, if you want to you know, bring your brother, sister, or even your boyfriend, I nodded three times with the boyfriend. Those of you who have sales training, you know what that is. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, she, and, and she said, oh, okay, I'll, we'll see. So I showed up Panera, and there he was. Bruce was sitting there. And I went through my the whole sales pitch and did the application with her and everything else, got it all set up. And I turned to Bruce, and, and Bruce is sitting back. He's, he's got his arms crossed, his legs crossed. If he, if he could have crossed his eyes, he probably would have. He was in you know, that power position. And, and it, you know what? Mirroring and matching, I went opposite. I leaned forward, I leaned into him, looked him in the eye and said, if I had a way for you to develop an ongoing stream of qualified referrals, would you want me to do that? And then I sat back, crossed my arms. He leaned forward. All he said was, what you got? <laughs> he said, what you got? And he said it that way. What you got? However, I had his attention. They now he's listening, and that's that's important to understand. It, 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 we do if you do quick hitters, that's that's fine, but they they actually have to be listening to what you know to what you what you're doing with them, right? Uh, and I, I say maybe Wednesday morning, I introduce you to a bunch of people, maybe you'll get some business out of it. Showed yeah. up on Wednesday morning, the meeting ran from seven to eight thirty, eight thirty one. He was filling out a paper application. Yes, that was a while ago. Yeah. This is what happens when you've been around twenty years. You remember paper. Um, so, and he's still a member to, to this day. And, it, I don't know, and he's, he's on this webinar right now. And he wrote true story. <laughs> Bruce, <laughs> what's up, brother? Um, Bruce, I'll call you after. Anyway, um, I didn't get clearance to give the story. So hopefully he. Uh, <laughs> he has verified to us that it is true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where are we going to the next one? What's the, oh, um, no, we're backwards. Hold on. That's all right. No, 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 no. no. I think that was right. That was, I think I have that in there. You're okay. Stop. No, I'm not. I'm trying to go in the right direction, and it's going in the opposite direction. Nope. Right there. Stay so there. Okay. There you Gotta go. Stay there. He's I'm a just going to take my we're, hand we're in off the, how now. That was it. Was in who? Now it's in how. Okay. Go um, ahead. That's why it's there twice. Networkers use a direct approach. You know, um, I network with a group of people on Wednesday mornings. So, would you like to come and meet them? Maybe you'll get some business out of it. Hmm. Direct approach. Bruce knows this story also. Ryan, uh, who came to our chapter, I met him at a, at a, at a chamber networking event. Um, commercial banker, sharp kid, sharp dresser, I mean, everything else, just, just really, really great guy. I did business with his with his bank anyway. I knew other bankers he knew. It just, I just didn't know him until that one particular night. I was talking to somebody across the room. They had that bank. They were having an issue. I said, I got a guy over here to help you. I brought him over, introduced him. And then another half an hour or so went by, came across Ryan again. I say, Ryan, you know what? Who do you need to meet? You know, and again, giver's gain. You got to, you know, this is something that gets ingrained into your brain after a while and you stay with it. You know, who do you need to meet? He said, Well, I need to meet an accountant. And he said a couple other things. I said, hey, I, I meet with an accountant on Wednesday morning with a bunch of other people at a networking meeting. Why don't you come and I'll introduce you to him? He goes, Is it B&I? Love that. Is it B&I? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. He goes, I, 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 I've been to a couple of BNIs. I, I, I don't, I don't want to join. Remember what I said earlier? We're not inviting them to join. We're inviting them to come and visit and meet some people. Right? This this is huge to change that mindset. Change that mindset in your chapter. Right? Hey, no, I said Ryan, I don't care if you join. I don't know if I want you to join. I, mean, I give him a hard time. Kind of give him a little yeah. wink. Right? Right? But if he still said no, I went 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 on to who do you know and and got a couple of names out of him. I said, hey, come meet Paul, who, who's our CPA, and, and I'll introduce you to other people. And I said, maybe you get some business out of it. I don't care if you care about joining or not. Um, the same as Bruce, Ryan at 831 was filling out an application. See, some groups are run really well uh -huh. and have a lot of fun. But oftentimes, the prospect wasn't ready when they saw it the first time. So they're yeah. in a different spot than they were before, even if it's only been a couple months. So invite them, introduce them, 
if that's your goal and they know it's your goal, you're not trying to get them in. You're not trying to get them to apply. Like I said, they can't join. They can only apply. It's up to the members of the committee and, and them to figure out if there's a fit. It's just a matter of come meet some people. I have um, one of my friends says that he invites strategically uh, based on seasonal businesses. So he doesn't, for example, invite uh, a bookkeeper or a CPA in the spring because it's tax season. He doesn't invite, you know, a painter uh, in the summer, you know, because he knows that they, they're looking for business. You know, a lot of uh, painters are only looking for the, the inside work, you know, during the off season, right? Uh, because they're just slower, right? So sometimes people are so busy in the moment, they're like, I don't even have time for this. But then the season hits and it gets slow and they're like, you know what? I need some extra business. What am I going to do? So yeah. Yeah. sometimes we do set ourselves up for a no versus a yes. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah. Because they just, they just can't, they can't think. You know, right. the last two days, there was some other stuff going on actually in my B&I and I, and some people asking me questions. And I was like, I will talk to you all. And I have the same reply every time. I will talk mm -hmm. to you after one o'clock on Friday. Right. You know, yep. there was stuff going on in my brain. Anyway, let's go on to the next. Okay. Um, you know, I, oh, I, I, love, I love this. Was it, 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 was it this again? Is this supposed to re be repeated? I touched on this. I went, I went out of order. Right, uh, so it, was, it was me. Uh, okay. Have you ever been in my catch at a bad time? No, no, I'll call him back later. If not, and so on. we kind of went through that. Let's just, let's just move through it. Okay. Community leaders. I think, do you have community leaders there? No. What do you mean? Back up one. This is community no. leaders. That's what I'm on right now. It does? Yours does? Oh, there you are. Okay, yep. no, I, I get the little screen going. So I, so I apologize, folks. We're having the technical difficulties. Technical difficulties, yes. Um, how many how many of you have invited somebody as a community leader? A pastor at your church? Um, oh my God forbid, a politician. Um, you know, but aldermen, selectmen, and so on. You, you know, hey, we got a business group. We meet on Wednesdays in your town, in mm -hmm. your in your community, whatever it may yeah. be. Um, you know, it, would you like to come meet some bit local business people? Yeah. It's a, it's a simple yes or no. Sometimes they're going to say yes. When they ask to speak for 10 minutes, you say no. Uh, actually, they right, ask well, you know, we've now. had people who are, you know, attorneys or whatever, and uh, they are involved in local politics, and they are super networked. Really great people to have in there. They, it, I thank you for saying that. They know everyone. Yeah. And they don't mind sharing it because it mm -hmm. makes them look good. Absolutely. Right? Yep. So, so and for politician types. Um, but even the even the pastors, how, how many people get, they they know in the church? Okay, yep. and you could you could ask, hey, hey, here's a few, few things. Who do you know that's a great plumber, electrician, whatever, whatever it may be? And I keep falling back to those two. But yeah. you no, know, who do you know? The, the names you can get out of them, and when you call, you drop, you know, using their name. Hey, Joe, Joe, Joe Smith told me to give you a call. He said you were a fantastic plumber. Um, you know, and, and oftentimes I'll say, is that true? Yeah. And of course they're going to say yes, um, and so and then go into your contact. Uh, it works really, really well. All right. Cool. All right. Next. Bring, bring them all. Bring everybody. The good, the bad, and the in-laws. Yeah. Bring them all. The farmers. <laughs> bring them all. We have farmers <laughs> down here in Tennessee. I in, bet. In, in, I in bet. Chapters. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, the local farms and so on. Um, and, it, you know, there's, I don't know, there was 700 seats one time I saw our B&I. It, it, it is so easy to, to have all kinds of different people. Um, but but you bring them all, and, and I, I'm reminded of a, of a, a uh, I, I call it a spouse day, but it was a significant other day because we were in Massachusetts. Yeah, it was sure. A significant other day, and, and this guy Chris, electrician, he brought his wife. Um, they had a couple kids, great family, and so on. But the wife didn't really know what he was doing there, right? Uh -huh. And I don't think most of our spouses really know what we do in B and I unless they unless they go to B and I. So she came. And and, it, and when it was going around the room the second time, referrals and testimonials, she stood up and, and she said, I need to speak to you and you and you and you around, around the room. She yeah. passed six referrals that day and they all closed. Wow. Right. So there was a lot of money made there, but she also knew people that no one knew. And now she was not only willing to give Chris referrals to bring to the chapter, but she also gave sent visitors to the chapter through her husband. Right. Um, she wound up being one of our best networkers and she never came back again. Into yeah. that meeting room, at least. Yeah. You know, um, you, you want to expose people to your business group. You know, the people you work with are trusted professionals uh, that they network with on a regular basis. Um, 
And I don't know what what time where where are we time wise? No, nope. let's let me let's keep rolling through it. Okay. Um. So here's what Lottie were kind of kind of waiting for. Now what? How do we make them show up? Right? How how does that really work? You know, Steve would probably kill me if I didn't promote the system at least once. The system has a lot of this covered now. Where years ago it didn't. Right? You go back twenty years ago, there wasn't a lot of automated type of things. But there really is now. Steve, go on to the next one. I think. Where are we? Register them? Can we get yeah. up? Yeah. Okay. Register people as soon as possible. The earlier you register, the better. The way this system is set up, and, and hopefully most of you know this, is that they get any, a professional email with a date, time, address, and actually gives you credibility because it really is, it really is well, well put together. Um, so, so, I, so I like that. But more importantly, that the president and visitor host both should be calling them and welcoming them before the visit. The visitor host, simply, and sometimes the other both, will make sure they know what to expect. Mm -hmm. They know they're going to speak for 60 seconds and no more, or 45, depending on what your chapter you know, mm -hmm. gives them, right? Um, but they're getting welcomed beforehand, right? Yeah. That is huge, right? Um, when, they, when they come, they get marked present by your... Well, it's still the vice president, I believe, Steve, right? Um, yeah. By the vice president, they need to mark a present immediately following your meeting. Go in and go in and just click a click a little checkbox. And then they get the email that says, thank you for visiting. And here's the next steps. Yeah. If the vice president doesn't do that, they get the email that says, sorry, we missed you. That's awkward. All right. So we want to make sure that the, the, the chapter uh, positions are doing their job. Right. So, but these two calls will set you apart from other networking groups. The two calls that happen. Um, just yeah, I agree. Reason. By the way, Larry, I think the the president call is one of those little hidden elements of of a chapter success because usually the visitor host will do it. But when the president, if I get a call from the president of the chapter and I've never been to a BNI chapter, there's a little bit more weight with that that says, "All right, I better show up." So I'm I'm one of the ones being a visitor host that make the call. Yeah. To, you know, to the people. Um, and a, a life insurance seat was, op was open. We had a life insurance guy come, a guy named Christian. You know, he, he registered himself. He saw it was open. He was looking for a BNI because the people in his company told him to. It was New York yeah. Life. I uh, told him to, you know, told him to go there. You know, go to find a BNI. So he just it happened along. We He got the two calls. He showed up. I called and followed up with him a few days later. Mm -hmm. You know, he's doing, hey, you know, I'm looking at a couple other chapters. Great. You know, I'll give you a call later in the week. Fine. So the second week, he didn't come back to us. I called him on Friday. Uh, so I said, well, how's the visit going? He goes, your chapter is so much more welcome than everybody else. And he talked about the two phone calls he got to begin with. Mm. right? And then he said, you're the first one that's called me back, and you've called me back twice afterward. right? You have to follow up just to see how he's doing. You know, quick and easy. No, no big deal. Uh, he put an app in our chapter. Yeah, it's a yeah, good it's point awesome. to make that people are going to shop around. And so you have to put on the best possible, you know, show to show them that you really want them there. Right. And, and actually, and, and I don't, I still don't know if I want them there. Well, I want them to want, apply. You want them, right, right. You don't know if and you want, want them, membership to be to vet him properly and right. thoroughly. You know, so, um, and, and then we'll find out in a year if he's a good member or not. Right. I think he, I think he'd be fantastic. He'd like a nice kid. Love to have yeah. him around, right? right? But, but you, you go through the process and you set it up for success for you and your chapter. And he's going to bring in visitors and he's going to bring in referrals to the rest of the chapter. It's going to help everybody. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Oh boy. Would you have patience with this guy? Nope. Go on. Did Bruce I answer too quickly? <laughs> Bruce is laughing. So, two thousand three, folks. What? I'm saying this is young Larry. This is yeah, well they yeah, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> 2003. I had hair then. It's good. You did. Um, I was invited by an IT guy named Travis. Travis Travis you know told me about it. I was a sales manager for for, for a fairly large ex, ex, pest extermination company. Uh -huh. and I said, sure. Yeah, yeah, I'll come. Well, first week, I didn't show up. I, honestly, I forgot. I just totally forgot. He called me up. Hey, Mister. Hey, I'll come next week. Sorry, the next week I I I didn't set my alarm one week. I I, I just I had it. I I don't know. I had chicken for dinner another week, so I didn't come. You know, we all have excuses for all kinds of things. 
Five weeks in a row I did this to this kid. I I mean, what a prince, huh? Great guy I am. Oh. Anyway, I don't even want to look at the camera now because of this, right? So after the fifth week, I didn't show up. He calls me up again. And he says, Larry, if you don't come next week, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm done with you. And he hung up the phone. That was all he said. I showed up. I felt you so kind of had it coming on week five. Kind of had it coming. Yeah. Oh my God. I was. <laughs> I'm not supposed to use that language. I was not. I was. Pick, pick some words. All you had this happened to you before. All you had words for those people. That's you true. Know, right. Yeah. So yeah. I went, and this is the same story as Bruce and, and Ryan. When I finally went, eight thirty one. I was filling out an application. Yeah. I've been in, I've been in BNI for twenty years ever since then. Actually, be, they'll be hitting the 21st anniversary in a couple of months. So there you go. Um, so, as I, you know, it, it, it is something that um, uh, you got to be patient with people a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. But, but what, you know, when you figure out, and it could be after two weeks or something, I, I'm not saying wait five weeks and keep going, but call them back, follow up. It's just say, you know, hey, if you really don't want to come, that's fine. But, mm -hmm. but, but, here, but here's what who do you know that, you know? And, and get and get some names out of them. Um, the the system will will handle getting them there with those other those calls. The other thing that I do on top of that, I want to throw in right now, is I'll text people the day before. So three, yeah, four, definitely. five, five o'clock. I'll send them a text. Hey, and all it says is looking forward to seeing you in the morning. Uh -huh. They've already got the email. They already got. They already have all this stuff together. They've already had phone calls. You you, you put this all together. And you just you just give them that quick reminder. Set your alarm, Skippy. We want to make sure we see you. You know. Well, I'll tell you, it is important, especially if it's an early morning meeting. People wake up and it's cloudy or raining or snowing. Mm -hmm. and they're like, I don't know about this. Yeah. You know, I get it, but so, it, that that extra text usually puts them over the top. Yeah, and, and before you get before you get aggravated with them when they don't show up, you know, remember you're still looking to get names out of them. Um, yeah. and, and sometimes, and, and I had heard an old somebody at one point say, um, you know. Call and ask them, well, well, we're you know, like in this case, we're really looking for for extermination company. You know, you obviously not coming. So who do you, who would you refer your overflow business to? Mm -hmm. And I I used to do that some, and it's not well, it's not well taken. You know, you know, it's like you're not coming. So who who's the next person in line that you think is you know your competition? But that that did sometimes work, but it's a little bit in your face. Um, Larry Jeanette says, but if I if that guy hadn't persisted, then I wouldn't know Larry today. Thanks to that guy. Thanks Jeanette to you. Rabin. Oh, oh, I know her. Okay, well, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm getting the warm and fuzzies again. This is very this. happy that you uh, that you finally showed up on week six. There you go. Well, <laughs> yeah, and I and I've only I've only actually had two absences in 20 years because my subs didn't show up. But anyway, that's just that's a that's a side note. Okay, so we're going on to oh, my favorite quote. So yeah, everybody knows the, the the story about the half full and half empty glass, mm -hmm. right? And I saw this note. I've just I've kept it forever. Dear optimist, pessimist, and realist, while you guys were arguing about the glass of water, I drank it. Yeah. Sincerely, the opportunist. I want to tell you guys before we go into the questions: be the opportunist. Absolutely. You know, be out there and build your business. Use this thing. This BNI thing is a tool. All the things we taught you, the things we taught you about visitors, it's just it's just techniques and tools. Use it because you can grow your business to whatever you want. Okay? Yeah. And don't let people pull you down. You stay with the positive and supportive attitude, right? And always make your decisions uh, in BNI through, through a giver's gain lens, if you will. You will find some success. It's pretty freaking phenomenal here because uh, I know I have. Anyway, okay. Go ahead, All right. So let's uh, do a little Q&A here. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. So Karina asks, uh, let's see, uh, recommendations for solopreneurs who work from home and are busy with kids on how to find people, business owners, to invite to the meeting. Uh, say it again? So, uh, so basically, she's saying she works from home all the time. You know, she's got kids. She's she's kind of busy at home, but she wants to, you know, be able to still find uh, business owners to invite to the meetings. But you're not running into them, but the people that you know, right? So with, uh, let's, uh, let's go on back. We have parents, we have grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, right? That we all know that don't really, well, at least in my family, they don't they don't really help me in my network at mm. all. Yeah. However, ask them who do they know. Again, build the list, 
through other people. Always the always the networking, right? Um, we got Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up. Different, you know, you can get some different names out of different people, yeah. or people to call and just invite them and say, "Hey, my brother said you were fantastic at whatever it is." You know, we 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 just happen to have a seat open in, in our in our uh, in our networking group, and we have referrals to pass to what you're you know, to your position. Would you like to come meet some business owners? And then, and I always finish again. Maybe you'll get some business out. Yeah, remember, uh, follow your checkbook. Like, who are the people that you pay on a regular basis? Your landscaper, your the person who mows your lawn, the uh, hairdresser, all those people. Uh, those are great people to invite. So, so and you Steve, know that they're that good be, because you're paying them. Would, would that be follow your Venmo these days? It would definitely not be follow your checkbook anymore. Yes, <laughs> that's, and I've also removed Rolodex from my vocabulary. Yeah, and I don't use I don't use yeah. Venmo, but there you go. <laughs> Uh, well, Nancy Cantor. Hey, Nancy says hey, uh, she's had two visitors in two weeks. How uh, she started networking in different places beyond BNI. She's out in the world. You could well, like we showed you with, with the dog walker with a suit. I yeah. love how somebody pointed that out. Um, online at Dunkin' Donuts. Hey, I'm coming out of my chapter meeting. Oh, I wanted to tell this. Coming out of my chapter meeting last Wednesday morning. Right, we have a house builder. We have HVAC, plumbing, electricity. A uh, 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 handyman. We don't have a general contractor. We have a roofer. We don't have a general contractor. Uh -huh. So I'm driving next to a truck, and then so someone said, so "General contractor." Right. So I call the number on the truck. The guy in the truck picks it up. We're in a light talking to each other on the phone with <laughs> next to each other. Pretty cool. He's That's coming nice. to the chapter meeting on Wednesday morning. Nice. I said, "I'm just coming from a networking meeting. We happen to need a general contractor. You look like you are one, but it says it on the door of the truck." I've heard of other people calling trucks before. Yep. And, it, yeah, and it, sometimes awesome. it works. Will he show up? We'll find yeah, out. Know. I am going to text him the day before. And he's uh, already registered. Yeah. Craig was asking if uh, BNI Core calls visitors as well. Uh, they do not. We do have uh, a team in the, in the Charlotte office when people put in a uh, request. Uh, that's We have a member success team or something like that. Uh, and they are the people who, who do those calls, but that is it. There's nothing coming from uh, the BNI core regions. Um, so That's just to chapter, answer Craig's answer. Chapter, yeah. chapter level, chapter level yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, that is all we have for questions there. I'm just going to double check the chat. Um, let's see. By the way, Julie, um, oh, I'm sorry. No, Marie says that uh, she uses Alignable which is an online network. And that's a good yeah. place to find, you know, you don't want to, you want to do something in person, check out this or, or, you know, see a different kind of meeting. Yeah, and get, get to know, I mean, if, if you can, in that case, you can, you can get to know people a little bit first, a little bit by email and so on. Um, and, and in that case, they're already networking, you know, and maybe say, hey, why don't we, you know, why don't we have a get together, whether it's for coffee or whether it's on Zoom and, and get to know each other a little bit so we can network better, right? And then, on on the way off off that call again, say hey, you know, I do an in person meeting with these people over here. Come visit, you know, that type of thing. Right. Yeah. Larry, people. are you aware of the uh, grip method of inviting? Someone was asking in the chat about that. I I have taught that in a couple of lunch meetings down here. I I am I am I, I I do I've been doing the same thing for so long. Just automatically all comes out of my mouth. Steve, you want to share that? Uh, sure. So the grip method is G-R-I-P, um, and that stands for, uh, the G is, do you want to grow your business? And the R is, are you looking for referrals? And the I is, I would like to introduce you to my referral partners. And the P is, uh, we meet at this place every week. Oh, place. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, so couldn't remember, I couldn't remember the acronym. Yep, and, yep. And it's kind of, and it's kind of close. You want to, you know, grow your business. Well, it's like the referrals help your business. Yeah, I, again, I've been saying some of this stuff. Um, um, oh my God, fifteen years or better, uh -huh. uh, and, and and some of the same language still works. And of course, some of the younger people they know that they, you know, they want to use their own language, uh, which is which is fine because I'm getting there. Yeah, yeah, it still works. So. Uh, yeah, Randy is using some uh, inclusive language here and saying participate with us. It's kind of Making them feel like part of the group. I like that. Hey, hey you know, yeah, it, 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 it it's all fine. It's just yeah. a matter. I, I think more than what you're what you're saying is how you're saying it, and, and whether you got some conviction or and, and say, hey, you know, come meet my friends. Let's go. You know, right. um, it'll, it'll, it'll help you and so. 
and and not caring that much. It's like what well, the attitude in my mind when I speak to anybody about this stuff is, is I care, but not that much. Right. Right. If okay. you care too much, now you're selling. Yeah. Selling is bad. Nobody wants to be sold to, everybody wants to buy, right? Um, just you just promote an idea for them to come with you, can meet some people. That's it. Um yeah, or come, you know, come participate. Yeah, they, they, their participation is limited. Um, so I don't know, but um I will I will plot, toss that around in my brain later. I might use it. Who knows? Yeah. Uh John's asking, uh, when a visitor is registered, does being I send them marketing emails or just emails strictly related to the visit? And same question for after the visit. There are emails that go out uh, automatically from BNI. You can you can look them up. You can get them and see them. Um, they're really except they're really well done, and it's really just just trying, you know just helping them get there, get to the meeting, a little bit of what to expect type of deal. Um, and then the, the follow up is you know should, should you choose to apply? Here here's the next steps. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and again, it does start with thank you for coming. That using that every time will help. Not just get them there, but really give you credibility along the way. Um, and uh, you know, uh, I just seen it work so well for so long now that that uh, I mean, when did this email program come out? Just a few years ago, right, Steve? Yeah, about two years. Yeah. Oh no, it's got to be about four years now. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We lost two years, so yeah, yeah, about, yeah. yeah about four years. There you go. <laughs> really, <laughs> time's flying. Uh, oh, Amberly's asking, would I repeat the GRIP acronym? Of course. Uh, so. Um, do you want to grow your business? Are you interested in referrals? Uh, the I is, uh, I would like to introduce you to my referral partners. And the P is the place where your chapter meets. Great. GRIP is what ta was taught to forming groups before they've actually formed yeah. um, to, you know, to really help get them going. It's, it's, the, it's just the very basic way to do it. And you know what? For a lot of people that aren't inviting, um, that's a good place to start. Yeah. It's a good place to start. Do, do you get, you know, and then you get your feet under you. You start developing how how to say things to yourself, right? So, uh, so Randy says, invite people that you care about to introduce you to people that you care about. That's what Phil Berg once said. Good quote. I like it. There you go. 